Tommy Cooper's blend of magic and comedy was unique. There'd never been an act like him on the comedy circuit. <laughs> That's not bad, is it? <laughs> Over three decades since his last performance, Tommy's influence on today's entertainers is still clear to see. None more so than in comedian and magician Pete Furman. One, two, knacker his shoe. <laughs> A fan of Cooper's since childhood, today Pete has come to visit the Museum of Comedy in London, home to some of Tommy Cooper's most famous props. Seeing those props on TV for a number of years, to actually now get to handle them, it's, I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's a huge thrill. I can't wait. If you were a musician, it would be like, you know, playing Jimi Hendrix's guitar. You know, it's, it's that exciting for me. Here's a little trick I picked up. I don't know who dropped it. It's dark in there. Oh, wow. Oh, brilliant. This is surreal. Amazing. Well, this is, this is actually one of my favourites of all the things that he ever did. So let's see how it works. I've always been fascinated to know how it works. So, how are we... I think what I love about this most is the expectation with it, you know. Sets up the fact it's going to be a fairly traditional trick. Thank you very much. I know, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to show you this wonderful trick now. From the Zepty Vars or Vs, I will now produce a bouquet of flowers. A bouquet of flowers. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest thing for me, when he <laughs> surreptitiously does that. And I just love that idea that he believes that the audience wouldn't have seen that. I would not be able to do that, it's just too funny. I'm OK, I'm fine. God, dear. Good night. Thank you. Should I give it a go? <laughs> That's brilliant! So this... I'm guessing it's something that he's had someone build it. So when you look at it, it's quite crudely put together, although it definitely does the job. But these things over here are like professionally produced props. I should now make the dust disappear from there and make his way over there. Jahalma Jahaba Hua. What is Jahalma Jahaba Hua? It's gone from there. Over there. Oh, oh. Makes you thirsty, this. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Thank you. And then I guess at the end. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's just daft, isn't it? It's just ridiculous, but amazing. And this, well, this is just another one of his classic, classic props. So he would pick up the table, bear in mind it would have four legs, one on each corner, and one of these legs at the front would drop off. <laughs> As he's looking, second leg drops off, which is a predicament, because he can't put the table down now. So he steps forward with it and, and sort of gives a look as to say, I can solve this. And there you go. <laughs> you get the, the lady's legs. <laughs> to see these things is just so, so special, because he's probably the first person that I saw combining comedy and magic in a really, really strong way. And that kind of inspired me to do what I do. There's lots and lots of magicians that have come before and since, but no one seems to have been able to marry the, the comedy and magic as well as Tommy Cooper. Tommy's props were crucial, not just to his performances on television, but also in theatres as he toured the country. The responsibility for these treasured tricks belonged to stage manager Mary Kay.